Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. We are here in the fountain, and we're going to continue with the Space Junk Galaxy. We already have a punch to comment there, thankfully. Now we've got onto the third mission. Tarantox's Tangled Web. Sounds like spiders. Away we go! Okay, yes. here we are on the yellow stuff. Talk to the leader if you want. Brave Toad, Briage Toad. I've always pronounced it Briage, but it's Brigade. A Brave Brigade Toad, yeah. We'll go find him. Ignoring these guys doesn't need to stop it. Come on, go. Not going the same way this time. Going somewhere different. Again, this game isn't as linear as, like, um. Hey, Hungry Limo. Yeah, we'll come back to that later. This game isn't as linear as, um. As this game isn't as non linear as Super Mario 64 or. Super Mario Sunshine, and then, you know, because Super Mario Sunshine was really linear. Because you just went from star A to star B to star C. Or shine A to shine B to shine C anyway. Um, and lots of people didn't like that. I, I, I didn't mind it. Still, the gameplay is still good, even if you didn't get as much of a choice. But still, this one's even less because the um, uh, the galaxy actually changes depending on which mission you're doing. Like, you can't reach this planet in the um, other ga uh, when you're in doing any other, uh, any other two missions. So. And you can't do any other two missions while you're doing this one. Anyway, getting that, and we zoom off through, um, I think they were trying to start it, so anyway, yeah, we're trying to start it. Whoosh. I'm like a creepy castle entrance. Ignoring you, Mr. Spider. Mr. Spider, that didn't make sense. You're opening toad, purple toad. Help, I'm stuck. Aim your star thingy at me, okay. Bye-bye, Mr. Toad. He's stuck to that one now. We're coming, Toad! Yeah, you can actually make the Toad rocket up into space. But, um, I prefer saving. Because I'm a good guy like Mario is. Just know these dudes. So we're back and launch us up towards the weird L shaped block. That John and launch us up towards this weird looking plant thing, which we then break. Okay, um, we go backwards and hit the giant cocoon thing. And there's this thing, I'm not sure what it is, like a spider, only it's not. Ah, oh, that was smart. Actually, hit in the face. You don't have to hit it in the face of the obviously it's obviously what you need to hit, so. You can kinda of like, hey look point it. But hit this thing. And it's 2D as well, which is cool. If you hit the thing on its back, it's turned into it's flipped on the side and there's three things on its stomach. Not too hard. Just something to quickly aim properly. Oh, don't die, don't die. Mm -hmm. Thank you, video game. No, that's TV. It's cool when you run with your ow pointer over the um. Uh, where they wiggle around like the way. So yeah, you don't even need to aim for the things on the side, you just need to aim for the thing on the uh, back. Unfortunately, you can't hit more than one at once. Kind of a challenging boss fight, but overall, not really. Oof. Then he falls into oblivion. 
Because we can start over here, which we will run and grab. Like so. Alright, star 17. <laughs> star 17, we're on part 18. And Gulliam has appeared, that's nice. Alright then folks, in the next episode we're going to continue with, well, the fountain. I will see you then.